Welcome to WISIS Forum 2022 here in Geneva and with me is His Excellency Mohamed Al Qaeda. Um, Mohamed Al Qaeda, you are Chief Executive Information e Government Authority of uh, Bahrain. Um, and congratulations because uh, you've been nominated as one of the champion uh, projects. Can you tell me about that project? Yeah, thank you very much. The project, of course, is about the uh, uh, digital policies. Um, as you know, you know, lots of achievements happened in terms of uh, infrastructure, accessibility, mobile penetration is very high, Bahrain ranked, you know, first in the Middle East in terms of the infrastructure readiness. The people adoption is, you know, they're they ad ad adapting the, to, the, to the services. And we have a lot of uh, online services as well as many enablers. Uh, but when it comes to government entities, still there were some government entities providing their services, you know, in the traditional way. So the cabinet took the decision that we should issue policies that force everybody to follow uh, called digital policies. One of them is digital right, uh, you know, the right to digital uh, government, where uh, we try to enable and, and make sure that, you know, legislations are there, people are uh, get the uh, knowledge to use the, the technologies as well, that, that the government and uh, their infrastructure are ready to provide the government services uh, properly with uh, you know with the with the cloud and, and other things to be to be supporting to it that's one the other one is the uh, digital first any entity would like to introduce their service which they should go electronic first instead of you know giving it traditionally and then facing the challenges or you know of the of the people or maybe government employees they should provide it electronically and then if needed for some people who are disadvantaged or cannot access, then they can provide it uh, otherwise. You mentioned there briefly populations that aren't yet connected, and, and we know that that is an issue. Mm -hmm. um, what are the challenges in that respect of mm -hmm. meeting sustainable development goals, particularly around equitable access to information uh, technologies? I think maybe in Bahrain we don't have that kind of challenge because, you know, the penetration is almost 100%. Really? We have like 98% of, of uh, penetration, elder people being, you know, disadvantaged. We don't have disadvantaged. We have most of the people are using. Mm -hmm. But uh, sometimes it's, it's just people prefer and, uh, you know, as, as an enabler or working in this field for a very long time, uh, sometimes you cannot blame the people not using the electronic service because maybe the electronic service is not very efficient or maybe it, it requires going from ministry to other one or maybe requiring it's a bit complicated so uh, this is why you know the policies came to complement so it's not about disadvantage that they don't have access or they don't know how to use it maybe it's it's taking more steps or time than the traditional one so this is why we wanted to to drift from the the physical to the electronic service, but uh, uh, there are other challenges like you know the technologies evolve and the changes uh, every day you know blockchain uh, cloud whatever and if you don't r do it right and uh, you have to reinvest and that's a duplication and not all countries can and has an environmental impact every time you repeat doing something exactly and yeah. you know you, you have to reinvest and you have to redo it and you're already invested maybe you don't have that kind of, of luxury to you know to, to spend more money to doing that uh, sometimes you don't have the priority okay there are 10 technologies which one i have to stick to which mm -hmm. one to and here i think it's it's the importance of maybe the the un or other other uh, international agencies to help those countries okay categorize them okay the least developed that they fall under this kind of category, category, they should use those technologies because more beneficial to them. And you know, I think that kind of, of maybe uh, challenge can be overcome by 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 having a more lots like uh, geographical areas, what like what we are doing in, in the GCC, for example. We have uh, a committee, uh, executive committee that we meet every twice a year. Uh, we have a strategy. We have initiatives that we work together, uh, exchange of, of experiences, because. Our challenges are similar, our uh, opportunities are similar, so we can help each other. And that actually was complemented by the UN and the report of the UN index uh, as one of the uh, initiatives that helped the six countries to become in the top uh, Asian countries. And if we repeat this in Africa, North Africa, South Africa, or you know, countries similar to each other, with maybe somebody having the insight of you know being a uh, consultant, uh, the UN, or uh, helping or developing a kind of a strategies that that 
aligned according to the geographical area, I think that would help uh, very much. It's been fascinating mm -hmm. speaking with you. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. Thank you.